Welcome back to Colony Hills Homestead. This is Jeremy. We're going to be talking to you today about peaches. Everything you need to know about peaches. Peaches are so easy to grow. This will be a short video. So if you love that juicy peach that tastes better than the grocery store varieties, you need to grow your own. And they're so easy. So today I'm going to be planting a Florida King. And I want to talk to you a little bit about peaches and their growth cycle. They're so fast growing. You can plant a peach tree this tall and it will show you peaches on the second year and the third year, it may be 15 foot tall if you let it. Now, I don't advise that. I keep my peach trees topped out so that they will branch out so that they can uh, provide fruit and everything will be getting the sun. I plant mine in full sun. Peaches can handle full sun. They can handle full East Texas hot sun, okay? That's what they thrive on. They can even handle less watering than a lot of your other items, a lot of uh, other things that you got going on. You water these once a week during their first year, let a deep soak go in, let that water go down deep so those roots can go deep, you're good to go. Now, when buying a peach tree, because there are so many different varieties, doesn't matter what you buy, you're gonna have success. Let me mention a few of the things that that I do and the reasons why. So you look on your, your peach, you just bought a peach tree and it tells you to plant it 12 foot apart. I divide that in half. I plant mine six foot apart, if that's what it would say. The reason is, is I'm not gonna let my plant, my tree get so crazy high that I can't harvest the fruit myself. And I don't wanna be climbing on a ladder I don't need a bucket truck over here to get my good peaches. I want to be able to reach them from my lowly stature of 511. I want to be able to get those. So I'm going to cut the tops out. Every winter, I'm going to prune my peaches to have success in the spring, which means I'm going to cut the tops out, right? And I'm going to create strong branches that will hold those peaches. So when your peaches bloom, your peach is gonna try to put on four times as much fruit as it really needs to have. So I hate to say this, but you're gonna have to, when that little tiny peach forms, you're gonna have to pull some of those. You don't want more than one peach for every four to six inches of branch because number one, it's gonna break your branch. Number two, it's not gonna become to the full size that it could come. So when you're digging your hole for your peach tree that you've bought, make sure that you dig that hole twice as big as the root system, okay? We wanna make sure that that soil is loose. We wanna make sure that the roots can grow. We're gonna mix some compost in, which I'm gonna show you in the next video, me planting this new peach tree. But we're gonna mix some compost in, but we're also gonna use our original dirt mixed in as well. Last thing you wanna do is show the roots this easy system and not show them the, the dirt that you have on your property. They need to get used to being able to bore those roots through the door, dirt that you have on a property, excuse me. Um, so we're gonna mix that in. One of the other reasons, well, let's backtrack. One of the reasons I plant mine 50% closer is because I want to create that canopy to where your branches almost meet so that during the hot portions of the summer, you've got that shade over the root system that you're trying to water. Everything's getting the sun from above. You want to create a situation where you've got as much moisture in the soil as possible. So you're gonna do two things. You're gonna plant them closer. You're gonna prune them appropriately, create that canopy, and then we're gonna mulch. We're gonna mulch over the top so that we can make sure that we maintain as much moisture as possible. Okay, um, so again, you're gonna dig that hole two times as big as a root system. We're gonna plant it half the space we're gonna mix compost, dirt, compost, dirt. We're gonna layer that until the top 
and then we're gonna mulch over, okay? So I create um, an additional item for at least the first year of the fruit tree. So I got a PVC pipe, okay, cut it about, yay. I've got holes drilled all the way around it. We're gonna lay it in at an angle into the hole that I've dug for the peach tree. And we are. this will allow us to introduce nutrients and water straight down to the roots. That's what we wanna get growing the quickest. We wanna get those roots established um, to where they can start seeking that water that's vital for that juicy peach. So we're gonna use this. There's a lot of different peach varieties. The one that I've chosen is a Florida King. It is a big juicy peach that puts on a lot of fruit. Um, you have to pull some of those peaches, like I said, and it's heartbreaking to do so. Um, it's a self pollinator to an extent. So you need to look at that on the variety that you buy. Um, but I'm going to put in, in this, this other area that I'm working on, I'm gonna put in two to three of these peach trees and it doesn't really matter to me whether it's a Florida King or not. They'll all self, they'll, they'll help each other. They'll pollinate, you know, they'll be great peaches. You cannot fail on this, you really can't. You don't have to have a huge amount of land. Uh, this this will work on on an eighth of an acre. You, you, could, you could have four peach trees on an eighth of an acre and and wonder what you're gonna do with all the peaches that you have. Well, you can can them, you can preserve them, you can make jelly, you can freeze them, you can freeze dry them, you can dehydrate them, you can give them to your friends, your family. Most of all, everybody will be able to enjoy them. Peaches are great. So, without further ado, we're gonna show you um, the planting of this peach tree next, but I would ask you to like, subscribe the video, come on board, see what we got going on. We got some more videos coming out soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're ready to put this peach tree in the ground. I've got a good site selected as we talked about before. It's pretty much full sun. Uh, we're gonna buy a few more to put in this. We're gonna be putting in a, a small orchard. Um, I have selected a Florida King as we talked about, and we're gonna get right into this. I've already got the hole dug. As we talked about, it's gonna be twice as big as the root area, and it's 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 deep. So um, we're gonna lay in some organic compost that we have here. And we're going to kind of layer. I will tell you now that um, I can tell at the end of this video, I'm going to have to go get some wire cutters because we've got wire here holding this together. But it's still not going to keep us from putting this in the ground. So we're going to put some of this organic compost in the bottom. We're gonna add some of our soil. As you could have seen, some of this soil has a little clay content at the very bottom. That's exactly what I had talked about in, in the video, is you wanna make sure that your root structure understands that it's got to go through this process of going downward. And those long, slow waterings is gonna get that root system going down where it needs to be. So we're gonna continue this process. I'm gonna put a little here and we're gonna check the height of the tree compared to the, okay, compared to the hole we've dug. All right, because this node right here where this, where these roots are, that's where we want to start burying our tree. The worst thing you can do is, is over bury or, or plant too deep and that's gonna introduce disease into your tree. So you can kind of get an idea here. That looks about right, but I feel like we're gonna need a little more soil. 
want to make sure that that root system is almost starting at the top Yeah, the, one of the worst things you can do is cover this up. Okay, so here's the PVC that we've cut. We're going to lay it in at an angle. We want this to be in the area of the bottom roots. We want this tree reaching deep for water. Okay? We want this tree reaching really deep for water. We're going to put a bunch of this compost here because I have holes drilled in and I want it to be able to drain very easily. Okay, so now we are looking at putting this soil on and it certainly is not going to hurt to build a top of, uh, let's call it a levee, to keep the water around this plant as long as possible when we get rains or when we're watering. So, I'm gonna smooth this out. I'm gonna press this down, okay? And we're gonna build a type of levee so that we can continue to keep this plant moist. We're gonna finish out with the rest of our organic compost. Now, if you need to drive a stake and, and do a string to uh, straighten up your tree, go for it. This this would be the time. Um, you can actually, you know, if you want to get a good idea, you wait till the second year and see what direction you want it to go. Um, we would normally mulch around this tree, but we have a mulch mat that has uh, the tree, a tree has gotten too large for it. So we're going to use that instead. This is a mulch we would have normally put out and we would have covered that. And obviously the mulch is to keep the sun from drying the soil out quickly. So we're going to put this mulch mat out to help with that process. I'm going to come back, obviously take this tag off, take this off. We want to ensure that this tree has moisture down in the roots, especially this first year. That's what it's going to need. We're going to go ahead, finish pouring in the rest of this water. We're going to fill this tube. We're going to get some water right down there to the roots. Oh, I love these Corona clippers. We're going to go ahead and clip the top of this tree out. As we talked in the video, uh, we want to make sure that we get the tops of our trees uh, pruned every winter. I know this isn't winter, but we're just planting it. I want to increase the outward growth of this tree, and I'm going to keep it low enough to where I can harvest the fruits by hand. So... That's really it, guys. We're going we're gonna to get this uh, stuff off the tree here. And happy harvesting. We are ready for some peaches.